know your power as a young man i think that most important aspect of being a young man is understanding your power understanding what you have in front of you you know recently um a friend of my mother's and she wanted me she wanted to introduce a girl to me and that's you know her, her young cousin effectively but this girl is like a typical three or four you know party goer asian girl and to me this is fucking atrocious like what on earth like she likes to go partying, she likes to go dance in the club, get drunk. Much older than me, 21 years old, and I'm 18. And then she was hinting it throughout the time I was there. I fucking knew, I knew that shit. And like, she had like, bless her, she has a disabled mother, or a mentally ill mother, who like sometimes forgets her name with like dementia or some sort. And like her mother's quite young as well, same similar age to my mother. And you know, my mom's friend was trying to like, trying to guilt me or some shit. It's like, you know, trying to get this girl, I'm trying to fix her. I can fix her. But, like, the reality is, is like, I asked her then and there, being, like, as as blank, as, as not blank, but as, like, straightforward as possible. I asked her, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do, man? I'm like, even if I was a billionaire, what, the best thing I can do is probably, like, put in a mental hospital to see if she, like, not like the one where you put in a street jacket, but the ones where, like, you know, you can slowly, slowly try to recuperate your memories. That's it. Like, what the fuck? I have no power. Even then, like, it's not even guaranteed. Like, I have no power. She'll be there for 10 years and, and no progress can be made. And, you know, a big part of me, I'm an 18 year old guy. Don't really get bitches. I work a lot. I have a lot of money for my age. But I'm not in that good of a shape to be honest. I'm like 20% body fat or something. 23% body fat. I'm very, I'm kind of fat for my, <laughs> kind of fat for my, um, um, for this time, but I was bulking for a good amount of time, and now I'm like thinking about cutting. I want my fucking neck to be thick because this shit is fucking too thin. But it's whatever; it's not too important. But the, th the most important thing I wanted to tell you guys is like, yeah, you're 18. You might get no bitches. It's the way it is. It really is just like the way it is. You might get no bitches. Put keep your head down and keep working. You could be. 30, 18, 12 years, like, away, like, almost, more than a decade away, everyone's grown up around you, everyone's 30, 30 now as well, people that you used to go to school with, 30 as well, but you're, like, 12 years deep into self-improvement, it's not even self-improvement anymore, it's fucking, it's, it's a self-improvement lifestyle, some shit, it's a better man lifestyle, like, you're in shape, you're tall, or you're taller because you're you always like focusing on sleep, getting good nights of sleep, you know, getting your, your protein in, whatever it is, the macros, whatever whatever it is, really. You're taller and because of physical exercise and HGH as well. You know, something interesting I wanted to tell you. When Before I start exercising, I might have been like around here in height. As soon as I start exercising, like seriously, boom, I shop here. That's like the biggest thing I gotta say. Like, people say puberty, puberty, puberty. But at that point, I was like, fucking. I was. Everyone told me I was over puberty and, you know, you should give up hope and you should do this. And, like, and I didn't listen. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I just stayed on my shit. And now I'm taller. I remember a year ago, I was like, here. Now I'm here. And then, like. And then, like, my, my other mom's friends who do like to party. And one of them was like, kind of fucking the classic, you know. Uh, along with like three cats and some type of shit uh, One of these one of these girls that are, like fucking not girls a grown-ass woman. She's like 40 plus on reach reaching 50 With no kids Pressing sure, but she like she said she doesn't want kids cope <laughs> Cope <laughs> it's fucking cope seed and then the other, other one is like she got kids, but like fucking plastic surgery is it's it's it's, it's, it's vile It's vile What the fuck is going on? I'm gonna call one Stephanie. I'm gonna call the other one Tiffany. Stephanie and Tiffany. Stephanie has no kids. Tiffany has kids, but she's a plastic surgery mess. And they told me I'm looking much better than before. And I'm looking taller. I told myself, like, guys have this divine advantage. Hold on. That's time. Stephanie and Tiffany don't have that advantage. They have the early years now. And guys in self and the Red Pill know this, but they don't understand this. It's like that action correlation to result. 
I think that, that's the that's the uh, theory that I want to delve into into another video. But the action correlation into result is something that most men don't understand. Most men don't understand that if they do hundreds of push-ups per day, they will get a good chest. They will get a good defined chest. They can move their fucking chest, titties, muscles, and go up and down, up and down. It doesn't matter if you call it titties, you could call it with chest, pecs, whatever. It doesn't matter. What matters the most is that it's aesthetic, right? And then, like, it looks fucking good. That's what matters the most. Most men don't understand that if they keep doing the same good habits day after day for a very good period of time, maybe a year, two years, they will see results. Action will produce results. If I'm video editing non-stop and I'm fucking working non-stop like crazy and I have like 100 projects all like fucking on me, literally me right now, and I just keep working every single day, the projects will go. And there may be new projects. There may be no new projects. I might just take a break for the moment. Just, you know, a thinking, a thinking period. Think about my next few actions. You know, your next five moves by Patrick McDavid. I might do that instead. Action correlates to result. You stay on your self improvement. You stay grinding. You stay going to the gym and working hard. And even if it's just for, even if you're going to the gym just for looks and fitness, you should be fucking working your ass off, like fucking gritting your teeth in a workout. You should be trying your very hardest. It doesn't matter if people are laughing at you. It doesn't matter if people are fucking looking down on you. What matters most is that you're working hard. That that is. Like, well, number one priority this is much more important than the validation of others. Who cares? Like, who cares? Like, say, so, for example, you make someone laugh. You make someone cry. No, maybe you make someone cry. They might, they might remember that. But you make someone laugh and they feel any positive emotion. They're going to forget that shit. Like, ne the negativity stays. But if someone's, like, laughing, then fucking, even if they're poking fun of you, like, they, they forget about it. They don't care. In a week time, they literally forgot, and they're fucking on TikTok or some shit, being generous. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's complete and utter truth. Yeah, that's it. It's so fucking dumb that so many young men don't understand this. That we all have the divine advantage of time. And if we keep working, we will, like, bro, you could be 30 dating an 18 year old, a 19 year old. That's fine. Both consenting adult, she loves you for you. You know, you're a tall, handsome guy. You, you, you know, you're sophisticated, whatever. Maybe you have a lifestyle as well you can offer her. Okay. She doesn't really slept, up. she's not really a party girl. Mother of your children. 30, 18, 30, 20. Yeah, it's, it's, it could be, yeah. <laughs> it could be 35, 20. Like, it could be, it could, it could stretch that far. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand, like, it really is whatever. Like, I also see, like, Asian men. Oh my god, Asian men. Like, if you're, it doesn't matter what, like, even if it doesn't matter if you're, you're black, white, Asian, Latino, or whatever. I think I said this in another video as well. Like, as long as you're working on yourself and you're focused and you're dedicated, if, if guys don't understand this because there's so little. Guys that are, would actually genuinely like devote themselves to fucking to work, to grinding. It's very, it's a very small amount. It's a very minuscule amount. You go to everyday life, all the guys complaining about women have no game and you know, well, oh, women, oh, this, is that. Yeah, they don't, they don't need to, because women are the selectors. They filter out the bullshit to get what they want. Like you're not, you're not gonna change that. Well, women have no game. Women have no game. What the fuck? Was that a Discord sound? I do not use Discord. Messenger. Uh, what the fuck? It's not Messenger, bro. Probably was a Discord sound, I can't lie, but I don't, I don't even use Discord like that, so... I don't know, maybe some fucking ghost haunting my PC. Get the fuck off my PC, bro. I'm taking on my RAM. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Back to my point about... A young man not understanding, like, I keep, I keep thinking about that, the Jocko quote, that one second turned into eternity because what would have happened never happened. I keep thinking about the first, first man's um, quote, you must be 18 and understanding that one day you will die. 
You know, I was eight years old during a storm in Vietnam. And I was in my house in Vietnam. And the fucking storm was raging. And I wanted to sleep with my mom because I was fucking terrified. I was eight years old. So I went to sleep with my mom. And I came to a brutal realization after watching the first Kung Fu Panda movie. And after watching Uguay die. I fucking sob during that shit, bro. I will, I will gladly admit that. I was fucking... I was eight years, I'm not fucking eight years old. I'm crying my eyes out. Uguay died, man. My time has come. I was like, no! Shifu! <laughs> What's Shifu gonna do? <laughs> I, was, I was crying, bro. Anyways. I, I was like... Next to my mum... And I realized, like, bro, my mom's gonna die one day. <laughs> fucking eight years old. I genuinely thought this. That made me, like, fucking... No, nah, I'm not. It made me a bit sad. Um, a bit intense. A bit welling up. Not crying, though. And I was just thinking about myself, like... Watching these core core videos as well, like, this Asian woman. Someone was making, like, a fucking... I was making a fucking like a, like a memorial poster it was an Asian woman who died in 2015 20, 20 something 19, 96, 20, 13 something I don't know that's not, not that old. 4 years, 2015, that's 17 she died it was, it, was, it was more than that, like 1986 or some shit 19, I was like 1976 which is crazy but um yeah 1986 or something like that and then um person who died maybe and it was a relatively young person as well, a young Asian woman. And that young Asian woman, although she did not look like my mother, it reminded me of my mother and it was enough for me to like shed a tear for the first time I've shed a tear in a while. I fucking I don't cry. I don't even remember the last time I cried, to be perfectly honest with you. Um No no I I technically cried when I put my the first time I put a contact lens in my eye. Like I just like stood like this what the fuck can I get this eye and the tear just like went down my eye because my eye was agitated but um but the first time that was probably the first time in a while I cried and yeah I, I, I really realised in that moment when I was 8 years old I think my Kung Fu Panda and Uwe dying next to my mom. Like, yeah, my mom's gonna fucking die my mom was like trying to comfort me telling me like I have a long journey ahead and here I am fucking 10 years later and only now coming to that realisation again you dumb fuck and that's the one I'm trying to tell you like, you, ha you have a limited amount of, of, of like, hours, amount of time on this planet. I keep seeing Ham's new videos. Some men deserve to be in the trenches. Okay, sure, be in the trenches. Die fucking alone in the trenches. Maybe you're with your brothers. Die in the trenches with your brothers, bro. There needs to be a period where you are grinding hard. You are grinding hard. I admit this. You are grinding very fucking hard. Five, ten years, perhaps. Lifetime dedication. Each day is rigorously dedicated to hard work and what getting what you want. And after that, you will have to enjoy the fruits of your labor because your hours on this planet is limited. Unless you are as ambitious as Elon Musk and you want to go to fucking space. Then if you just want like the 10k a month, 20k a month, the fucking 100k a month multi-millionaire status... Go on that Dubai life, get it. It will be like a journey, a full circle. You you know, in journey you have nothing in the beginning, humble beginnings, and then you know you grind really hard, and then you get it, and then it's like it isn't what you want, and then you go back to grinding. Like sure, but the ideology that you need to keep in your mind first and foremost is that one day it's gonna be game over, and you don't know what's gonna happen at the end. You could believe in your religion, sure, sure. You're right. I'm not gonna argue with you in this. I'm not gonna fucking, I'm not gonna fucking, is heaven or hell real? I'm not, I'm not gonna, you don't know what it was gonna happen. You have belief. You have faith. You have belief in things when you know things aren't certain. You have faith in things when you know things aren't certain. That is truth. Fact. I'm not denying religion. I'm not denying the fact that religion isn't helpful. I am denying the fact that you know what the fuck happens after death. The ideology that needs to sink into your skull, into your cranium, into your fucking neural link. <laughs> fucking beep boop beep motherfucker. <laughs> You're gonna die one day. I'm gonna die one day. This video will outlive me. 
at the, at the moment I upload it to YouTube and then I clip it up and I put it on TikTok and I put the effects on it. It's got, um, and I die and then it's gonna, it's gonna be still be there. It's gonna be there as if I as if I never went, as if I never disappeared on the face of the planet. If I never went to the, into the void. You know I'm Buddhist by birth. Technically, I believe in reincarnation. There's a chance if my parents were Christian, my parent, single mom, was Christian, I'd be born a Christian and I believe in heaven and hell. But if you are a logical thinking, contrarian thinker type individual, you will realize that everything isn't certain in life. The only thing certain in life is death and taxes. What's the only thing certain? You know what? You, 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 what the fuck? I have belief in God. Who are you to believe in God? God is a nigh omnipotent, omniscient, omni fucking everything being. I don't believe in God. I know he's real. One well, important part is. I, I'm, I'm a, look, bro, have you seen them fucking like maps of the universe? The universe is speck. And like, here we are arguing. Bro, 10k a month. What, what, unrealistic. It probably is realistic. Because someone's fucking achieved it. If jumping off a parachute. That doesn't make sense. Jumping off a plane. And like, diving into a backpack that has a parachute. And then fucking locking yourself in. And it's you're fucking Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise, you're going to die. But there's a parachute. And then you fucking... Sh fucking Naruto glide slide into that shit. Like a flying squirrel in a flying squirrel suit, and then you get the parachute and you don't die, and then you just fly away down. And someone has done that. That's realistic. It's not probable, but it certainly is realistic. People talk about realism. Everything's real. The most realistic thing, also, which is more realistic, is becoming successful in your thirties. 20s, late 20s, 25s, early 20s is possible. The sooner you get into the game, the sooner I might. When I cut this out into shorts and I get a bit more popular, people revisit this video. I might get people that are like 14, 15 years old. So you start grinding now for the next 10 years. By the time you're 25 years old, which is extremely young, you can be a millionaire after a decade of hard work. Even, even MJ DeMarco says it. If you're 18, you can be filthy rich by 25. Filthy. The MJ's Marco is possibly he's made tens of millions of dollars. It isn't unrealistic to become rich. It isn't unrealistic to get into shape. It isn't unrealistic to feel better, to think better. Or is unrealistic. It's like going to fucking space or some shit. Oh, maybe that is unrealistic, Elon. What is unrealistic is like traversing the entire galaxy using fucking tempad portals from Loki or some shit. That's unrealistic. Because it isn't real. It's real in a TV show. It's fictional. But everything else is everything else is is, is on the table. It's on the board. You might be 18 years old doubting yourself. Why? Why why on earth are you truly doubting yourself? Oh school, uni, this and that. Right, what the fuck? Take a moment to genuinely think and like analyze. Not that Luke Belmar video. When was the last time you guys truly thought and thinked? I don't know. Luke Belmar's also something, man. I don't know. He's some crazy white guy. <laughs> he, he, he's tweaking, man. I, that's what that's what I'm thinking, man. He's just I don't know. Luke Belmar's weird, but respect to what he's on with Capital Club. But I don't know what the fuck. He just I don't know. He's just yeah. I don't like how he preaches about. How like he has like a his his fucking. His brother Nate carried all the muscle in the family, bro. Not to lie, not gonna lie to you. I don't know. He's just, he just he's just really he really is just tweaking.
you know, I see a lot of these individuals in the self-improvement space idolizing these individuals. And in the 48 Laws of Power, Robert Green talks about offering people new faith. Which is fine. You have something to believe in, you have something to give your life purpose. But I think about it like extrapolated up in the shit. And I think to myself, why do people idolize individuals like Andrew Tate, Hamza, Imangaji? Why? Because they are fatherless and have no sense of direction. Case study A. Point A, me. Imangaji is your, you know, cool cousin. Hamza is your older brother. Andrew Tate your dad. You substitute these people for family members you would have and could have had had your predecessors made better choices. That's the truth. It is what it is. And I think to myself about, about this quite often because, you know, at the end of the day, people are people too. People are imperfect. People have their shortcomings. And to idolize them is to, it's, it's almost to be unfair. I don't know if anyone else has talked about this, but if you idolize someone, you effectively give them no choice but to be perfect. And if you give someone no choice to be perfect, you, you set an expectation for them to be perfect. And then when that expectation fails, your entire like character arc you've crafted in your mind of this person is completely and utterly destroyed in real time. For example, like that quote, never meet your heroes. I don't know if that was too complicated for you guys. I put it in layman's terms. Never meet your heroes. You might have thought Floyd Mayweather is like some awesome guy. And then Aiden Ross meets him and then he's like, where's my money? As if he wasn't a money obsessed individual in the first place. I admire Floyd Mayweather's hard work, tenacity, his money making skills, his promotional skills. I admire all of these, no doubt. But if I met him in person, it would just be like a cool handshake. Respect your work. Thank you so much. You're, you're amazing. I love you. Like, can you teach me something on your Philly show? Well, maybe with the defense. My bad. And that that would be like some of the conversation. I wouldn't be geeking out. Because at the end of the day, like, his entire persona is the worship of money. Which is fine. It's my culture, in effect. So, what's wrong with that? But you cut, you come up with like uh, you know, like an Eden Ross. You come up with these these things that you know aren't true. Like, what do you expect of Floyd Mayweather? What do you expect of your favorite actor, Margaret Robbie? I see her all the time, Margaret Robbie. Yeah, she's cute. She sleeps around. She's been around the block. Been in Will Smith. Been in many other individuals. Yeah, people are per imperfect at the end of the day. And celebrity culture and, you know, idolization culture is so common. It's just stupid. And it's just genuinely fucking stupid. Like, I, I cannot see myself looking up to, like, I see, like, Ham's videos of Adonis School, Adonis Gang, Adonis School, Adonis Gang. Like, I don't really watch Ham's anymore because of it. Because it's just shoved in my, like, okay, like, what is it? What is it? The three things men need. Focus, hard work, discipline. Yeah, yeah. You've reached, you've reached your limit, Hamza. You're 800 videos in. You're almost 900, 1,000 videos in in self improvement. Bro, you've reached your fucking limit on this shit. <laughs> you've stuck yourself to a niche. After a point in time, you're not supposed to keep to a niche. After you've reached like a few million subscribers, like he almost like he has, he's reached two million. You're supposed to expand, bro. Oh, Joe Logan. He's talking about some improvement, DMT, bears, snakes, fucking chimpanzees, weed. Like it's a it's a whole plethora of bullshit. 
but that's what they need for extra growth because you you after that point after you reach the millions of, of people point what what who are you trying to like fucking adhere to who are you trying to impress same with like the young men thing like, who are you trying to impress really Your friends. See guys, I can get I can get girls. See guys, I have money. See guys, I got I, I'm in my self improvement. Uh, I I lost weight. I don't really give a fuck. I really don't. Just leave the group chat. Like block, delete, mute notifications. Like I don't really give a fuck. And and as like. These people distance themselves from me, and as I distance from them, like I move on with my life, and then you're less, and then, you know, fucking the world keeps spinning. At the end of the day, I've got that original point I was gonna make. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch this recording back. I was talking about Andrew Tate idolization and Hamza idolization and. Who you look up to, or who you're doing before? I think these things are our biggest. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm fucking tired. Woo! Oh, God, some energy from the universe. I think these things are very, very big things to think about because Hamza changes his opinions a lot. You know, people can visibly see, like, because a lot of people that do watch some premium content aren't just. You know, followers, even though that seems to be the case with his videos. Oh my god, Ham's uploading again. Wow, so nice. Some people genuinely are contrarian thinkers, and Hamza was a contrarian thinker, and he did subscribe to a contrarian thought for a moment with his self improvement when he was new and fresh, and you know, it was a new kid on the block. It was fucking cool. And then what did it become? Mainstream bullshit. Jeffrey is a loser. Jeffrey is not Adonis. Adonis is cool and he's rich and he's tall and he's handsome and he has options. Become Adonis. Join Adonis, gang. Join Adonis school. And at this point, it really is like a, like a ploy to just fucking cash out his channel. Let's be realistic. It's a it ploy to cash out his channel. He wants, he wants the money. And Ham's always struck me this way. Like Ham's always struck me as a businessman, and I, I don't particularly disagree with what what the fuck is going on with his with him and his business. Same with Andrew Tate joining Hustle University. Like it is what it is. I won't join. Jo I won't. I won't join. I won't join a Donner's gang. I won't join a Donner's school. I won't join the real world Hustle University. This is fine. I work on my own shit. If I deem it useful, then I'll join. Maybe not the Adonis stuff because it's too expensive. What the real world fucking fifth thirty six pounds? What the fuck is that Discord noise? It's so fucking annoying, bro. I'm not installing Discord, man. <laughs> like people forget at the end of the day, these people are still people. His opinions are subject to change. You know, like you know the the terms and conditions, rules are subject to change. Yeah, they're, they're fucking subject to change, bro. You know, I, I saw this comment before, like I watched Hamza's old video and he talked about achieving his purpose and now he's gonna do martial arts and kickboxing and blah, 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 and MMA and MMA gym and get a fight. And I think he just just like MMA it, it isn't a fucking you know, it's, it's ultra masculine sport for sure. But it isn't like some fucking thing you play but you don't play boxing. You don't play MMA, you don't play any combat sports because it's very it's a very, very dark world. It's a very, very dark world. Like, the amount of self doubt you get, the amount of pain and suffering you, you get, the amount of like, sweat, blood, sweat, and tears, or you get fucking beat up and sparring that happens. Like, there's just so much, like, to lose. It is a very bad career path, and a lot of young men are going into it have self doubts, and they, and, they, and they inevitably quit later down the line. That's what happens. They quit, and it stops. And I even see myself doing that after a few amateur fights. Honestly. Oh no, after I do a few amateur fights. I don't even know if I go pro. Like, it, it genuinely, it, there's so much fucking self doubt. I want to be undisputed champion. Okay, what a cry to be undisputed champion. Complete and utter focus on one thing for years. 
years. And then you might become like an Emir Khan who becomes fucking broke because of bad financial um, planning. Buy all the Rolls Royce, buys the mansions. And now he's fucking poor or broke, whatever it is. And he has to fucking get another fight. Put, put on the gloves again. Because it's the only way he knows how to make money. He, 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 although he became a champion, it's one dimensional, bro. The belts won't pay your fucking, won't pay your bills when it's time to come. It's your purse, your five purse, that, that will, uh, thing that pay the bills. Come on, let's be realistic. Come on, man. Fuck out of here, man. When Hamza. Has like a, like a downfall. And Hamza has like a, a hypocrite moment. Where he's like. Oh yeah, grind culture, hustle culture. It isn't. It isn't good. But now it's good. But now it isn't good. Now it's good. But now it isn't good. Now it's good. And he says, "Oh yeah, it's okay." Because um, I put my hand up. I'm wrong, guys. And then like everyone's like, "Oh yeah, he put his hand up. It's okay." No, no, it's not okay, bro. You've sold millions of young men on this. Now you don't like it. What's going on? What's going on? Nothing's going on. You're a fucking liar. So is the other stuff from YouTubers. I, I, I try to watch uh, Iman Gaji's like fucking four pillars to thing. It's a 10k a month. Like four pillars 10k a month. Bro, you need like fucking clients. You need 10 clients paying you 1k a month. And then you uh, thing. You expedite the work. That's it. It'd be very, very difficult to get. You have to figure out your USP, your unique selling proposition. You'll probably have to figure out your, if you're selling a product or service, what type of product or service, the product, how you're going to ship it worldwide, make the most money, how you're going to manage shipping, how you're going to manage warehouse. There's going to be a bunch of bullshit. It sounds good on surface, 10k a month, but then like a hundred different processes. I want to build a rocket ship company. Okay, how do, how do rockets work? Do I have a basic understanding of physics? Like, you, you understand me here. There, for one, thing statement become true i am an entrepreneur for example there needs to be hundreds perhaps even thousands of processes that happen either simultaneously or have happened in the past in order for you to be able to say that or state that or become that i own a six-figure business i own a seven-figure business i make 10k a month per per month every single month the last six years i have made Fucking 600 grand, saved up, saved up 400, living in Dubai, you know, my dicks, I keep my expenses low and everything. Whatever, like, yeah, hundreds of processes you haven't seen. It's the same with everything. What's my point? I fucking forgot. <laughs> no, I, I was on something there, I was on something there, bro, I can't lie. But then, like, my brain is lagged. And no, it's very late. It's 4 a.m. and I haven't gone to sleep. When I woke up, like, I needed more sleep, bro. I just, I just chose to wake up because I had work to. Let me watch the video back. I wanted to address the sold millions of men thing. Hams are sold, like, millions of men, hustle culture, grind culture. And then millions of men, oh, don't work hard, don't grind. Like, you, Hams doesn't understand. Bro, 2 million people fucking follow you, bro. People watch and listen to your videos. And then again, you guys have to remember, Hamza is the level one town of self-improvement. That's what he is at the end of the day. Maybe Tate is like level two, make money. Get in the shape. Get girls. Three things that take the stand by. What's level three? Spirituality, philosophy. What would you would you like to be sitting in a cave like fucking breathing in the fresh air? Oh, so nice. Like if you if you would like that, sure. I would like that for a holiday. But to fucking like stay there for the next 10, 20 years? No, no, no. What the fuck? I enjoy the conveniences of civilization. 
I would rather stay in civilization and society. But society is fucked, man. Society has failed, man. No, men have failed, man. Are you kidding me? Society is nothing more than a reflection of the people. Hamza's opinions, Andrew Tate's opinions, changing at times. It's not only a reflection of the people. You reach a certain point where you know, you're reading these comments, you, you, you're just trying to see like what people think of you, and if it's negative, you, like you seek to desperately change, you have to revert, to, re to regress, so people like you, so you can recapture that person that you once was. It's not gonna fucking work, bro. Back to the men filled men thing, like, come on, guys, not being in shape, simping over girls, joking off, come on, come on, guys, just. Don't jerk off. Work. Do 20 push-ups. Do 50 push-ups. If you even can do 50 push-ups. Do some push-ups. Do some pull-ups. Like, my pull-up bar. I'm on so many pull-ups. The fucking foam is melted off because of my sweat. It's gross. Not because my sweat's acidic. Because if it was, I'd be fucking like My Hero Academia type shit. Like that frog girl. I forgot to produce acid. I, I haven't watched anime in so long. Like, I, don't, I would not know and I don't care. Don't bother correcting me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Back to the Hamza thing. When was the last time you felt like genuinely happy about your life? Genuinely fulfilled and completed and glad? If you've never felt that feeling, fair enough. Keep working. If you don't feel that feeling during instant gratification, like watching movies, watching shows, you know, playing video games, fair enough. I don't really like video games. This monitor I had right here was dedicated to playing video games. Now I dedicate to just fucking working video editing. Yeah, fair enough. Like, you're not that type of individual that, I'll oh, work hard now and I'll relax later. You're not. Because when you do achieve it after like five years of fucking blood, sweat, and tears, you realize something's out of place. Because you've crafted this identity through actions, belief, and habits. That you are a hardworking individual. And after that, you just stopped. That's like you loving fucking writing. You write for the next 10 years of your life. And after that, you're like, Oh, I've written enough now. I don't think I'll write anymore. <laughs> I think, it, it, yeah, I don't want to write anymore. And you just don't write for the rest of your life. Something's going to feel amiss. Something about our place. You can substitute this activity for sure. And if you're having a substitute activity for sure. But if you sign on that individual, like, you know that individual. That's the most basic, like, borderline. Fucking normal advice, normally advice I can give you. You know, most people are very normal. In, in, on the internet, it's just, it's just, you know what the internet is? It's an explosion, a cataclysm of vocal minorities. That's what it is. I'm watching a video called. Um, I don't think you guys can see it. Oh, the perception of Asian guys has changed, especially in the past few years. I mean, it's changed a lot. Oh my god, Asian guys. Like, guys, it isn't that bad in real life. It really isn't. I was on flattery. Oh, my fucking back hurts. Like, you go to Germany, popularity is strongly depends on your country. For some reason, Japanese young women go crazy about Japanese and Korean guys. Let's go. German with Japanese husband currently pregnant. I know many married couples as us about age 30, 35. Furthermore, lawyer, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. As a short Asian guy with low net worth currently, dating is basically impossible. Have you tried K-pop magazine? This guy's a fucking genius. This guy's a genius. 
That's not a short or an Asian guy problem. That's a you problem. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, bro. They got my boy, bro. Yo, my my guy. What's his name? Is he Vietnamese? R K. Mm, I don't think so. Is he Vietnamese or Korean? I don't think he's Korean or Vietnamese. As a black American woman, how the fuck are you here? Oh, you're attracted to Asian guys. What? That guy be racist, bro. As a black American woman, I've always been attracted to Asian men since I was little because early on I was exposed to Eastern films like House of Flying Daggers and Crouching Type and Hidden Dragon. That's a fucking classic. And because I was supposed to anime before it was popular. However, I don't show off them because I don't want to fetishize Asian men. Just do it, bro. I don't really care. But I believe the reason why uh, this is even issued more because a white man is to the because a white man to the Western world is always considered the beauty standard because the world center was rolls around Eurocentric beauty standards. But in actuality, like that's not probably that's probably not the truth. Like nobody really gives a fuck. Like if you're an ugly white guy, you're an ugly white guy. If you're an ugly like you know the fucking harassment versus um, flirting mean like the, two guys say the same thing. One's ugly, one's handsome. Motherfucker, man. <laughs> the world is very, very cyclical. If you are a handsome Asian man, you might not get chances with particular girls. But on a wide enough scale, and if you're aggressive enough, you will get your opportunity. Is this fucking... A shiza? Is this fucking her place? What the hell, bruh? Moo Moo commenting for the algorithm. I was recently in Mexico and it's crazy how popular K-pop is down there. Like almost every girl has a K-pop guy as their phone screensaver or they're walking down the street. You can see teenage groups practicing coordinated K-pop dances. <laughs> what the love of God? I just returned to New York City to go to New York City <laughs> to New York City and was in the Target store asking a girl employee about help when she was looking for a Target scanner to app to search an item there was like five K-pop games on the screen. They say go away are treated best and I seen our Latina Latino and Latina brothers treat us with the best. There's my two cents. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. If you have a fairly shredded physique, I would consider it an Asian guy version of Conor Murphy. Yeah. Uh, I don't think guys shredded though. Um, to be fair with you, like... His body fat seems kind of big and his jawline is fucking... Like, he's got a square head. He looks like a Minecraft, bro. <laughs> no, I'm doing dirty. I'm doing dirty. China Asian, China Asian is a good guy. Um... When it all comes to like, you know, the K-pop standard of beauty, I don't think it fits it. Why is the fucking come over fade in 2023, bro? Are you serious right now? Oh, what the fuck is that noise, bro? I'm gonna... Okay, guys, hear that too. Bing, ding, ring. Bro, I will strangle you through the screen, you fucking Discordian, bro. Holy shit, man. God, man. I'm tired of this shit, bro. <laughs> it's just a goof from the angle, like a crazy psycho. I think my mom just cut my hair, my mom cuts my hair, by the way. Look, whoa! Not that bad. Like, if you your shirt, that looks, that looks bad. Like, holy shit, it looks horrible from this angle, bro. No, that looks crazy, bro. That looks crazy. Oh, why is that a crack? But for the most part, you know, as long as you're confident, I'm so tired, I just zoned out. If you're a confident guy, you're gonna get everything you want. Hamza is a bitch. <laughs> no, I don't hate Hamza at the end of the day. Like, Hamza was extremely useful in like my development, my personal development and self improvement. I just don't like moments of hypocrisy that I see from him. But I also understand that people are complex. People are complex creatures and. You know, the complexity of life is nothing to be underestimated. And he might have been going through things in which 
you, ca you cannot possibly ascertain. Like I, I'm going through that period in my life right now where I genuinely believe that boxing isn't for me. And ge I genuinely believe that I've wasted a lot of my time boxing. I shouldn't keep doing it, but I'm going to keep doing it. And I, and I have the resolve and I'm, and I'm, gonna, I'm genuinely going to keep doing it. First week back, fucking I'm shattered, got injuries and everything, like again, sore, just my foot, my legs, leg muscles like ripping apart, I can feel them ripping apart, okay, I'll just take a break, and then next week I'm back, I'm back there, and I'll probably be increasing like step by step, increasing my sparring intensity, like that's the way it's going to be, but I, I, the thing I have to try to mention to you guys, like most important is that, you know, you will reach pitfalls in your life, it's a hero's journey, right? You reach pitfalls, and because of pitfalls, you will suffer. And what you do in that suffering is the most important part. Awesome. Awesome, Jimmy. Now, I saw a girl recently. Um, I think she fancied me a little bit, I can't lie. Fucking weird situation. But I think she fancied me, but she had a kid now. She had a kid in fucking, she's like 18, 19. I think I've talked about this on the channel before. But she had a kid now, she's 18, 19, and looking at her was fucking disgraceful, mate. Because, like, you can see me, like, before, after. Boom, I'll put it on the screen for you. That's what the edited version. For you unedited people, sorry. <laughs> but, like, I could see her, like, she visibly got fatter, a bit, a bit of stress, like, a bit of banging on her eyes. Her kids have turned three. She's in, like, some fucking kids' bookstore. You know, I'm buying my journal. I've literally bought my fucking journal in this in this thing in the store. Ah, uh, where is it? Right here. All this journal there. And I keep I keep remembering it. the first page I got. I I think look at that it's fucking clean. Live mediocre, die mediocre. My signature. The name of my house in Chinese. Chun in Chinese. And then Lisa Stamp, your mother, my mother. -in -law. And I just think to myself like, man. This was the high school, like, popular girl, along with her other friends. And, like, she ultimately had to dump fucking the guy that nutted inside of her, man. I say how it is, like, God, motherfucking damn, man. That's how it was, like. I was thinking to myself, like, you're, like, 18, 19, with a kid who's three. Where are you going now? Like, you might be in the game of life, like, sure. Like, to be fair, honestly, you might be, be in the game of life. Like, you have a kid by the time, you're, like, she's 18 and then she's grown up. And then, you know, you could have a son, too, and by the time he's grown up. And then you'd be way ahead in your life, sure. But, like, at that point, like, I, I'm not sure, you know. What's my point with this? She couldn't recognize me. That's my point. And I, I thought to myself in that moment, like, yeah. I'm completely a different individual, confident, I'm much taller, like, I used to be, like, her height, I used to be, like, here, she used to be here for me, or, like, here, maybe, like, on, like, literally on par with her height, and I keep forgetting that men develop later, but we don't think about in the future, because we don't think about time being on our side, we think about in the now, and we think about the worst thing that could possibly happen, and we think about the suckiest things that possibly happen, this is why keeping a journal is so important, because... No, because like, dear diary, today I was fucking dudes in the bathroom, pause. No, it's so you can document your shortcomings and your, how do I say this? Not hard work ethic, but you can document all your L's and your hard, I don't know what this is, I don't know what the word is. Hard, hard work. I don't know, it's like hard times. I, don't know, I think that's the best way to describe it. You can document all your hard times. You can document every single t moment you suffered. And when you're in a much better place mentally, you can like look back on it with visible clarity because you know your brain can almost remember everything you write. And you can just read it and you can be like, holy shit, I really was suffering through that. That is so dumb. You know, it's like, um, yeah, it's just, it's just like fucking, it's just like, it's like charged at the end of the day. Uh, what do you think about like, I have so many entries in my journal are just girls. Straight up. All the girls I failed with. Let's compare the ratio of the girls I failed with with the girls I was successful with. 3 to 7. 3 to 16. 5 to 6. Some shit like that. 
Why is it always lower than, than the thing? Why do I feel so much? And you get hung up on this for many days, for many hours, for many nights, for many months, honestly. And then after a while, like, you just, you, other like six months of just rigorous work and suffering and pain and just like, just, just being tired, just being out of energy. And you realize like, this is some fucking dumb shit. This is really some dumb shit. And I was warring over nothing. Really. Really. So this girl, one of four, I'm like this taller her than now. <laughs> Joke. So this guy who used to be like the fucking the funny fat cool kid, and um, he bullied me a bit in year nine. And then I saw him again like a few years later. I gave him a boxing gym. And I just shot a box in front of him, just like jump, jump, cross. And then like fucking, he started pissing himself. He started being like, oh, don't hurt me. I thought to myself, like, the world is fucking cyclical, bro. The world, like, it comes around. It spins, like, every single moment. Like, every single day, like, every single day you slack. Every single day you're productive. Every single day, like, you're, you're bored, you're tired, you're sad, you're angry, you're happy, you're, you're hungry, you're grumbling. It doesn't matter. The world spins irregardless. And I worked in that time. He was lazy. And because he was, and he was smoking, like, he was smoking hash, he was smoking, he was smoking weed, he was smoking, he, he was doing all the degenerate bullshit, instant gratification, you know, staying up late, not getting enough sleep, not getting his nutrients in, and he became a fucking midget to me. People think it's a joke with the high increasing program. People think it's a joke, but I'm fucking 21 and much taller. Much taller. When I'm, when I'm 22, my, my uncle's last growth spell was 22, I believe. He grew two inches and he wasn't doing anything apart from smoking cigarettes and talking to girls or gang girls because he was fucking handsome. He was like a handsome K-pop dude back in the day. He was, he was good at English. <laughs> so he was, he was, he got that <laughs> fresh from the city riz. After all that said and done, like, and I'm, and I'm visibly better than my, my peers. I will win. I'll show you how to win too. It's weird, isn't it? The world is very, very cyclical. This guy was doing all the bad shit, by the way. Now he's like, I swear to God, like he was like my height, a bit taller. It was unbelievable when I saw him. And like, he vapes and stuff as well. Fucking cherry mint pop. Vanilla strawberry. Strawberry. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing, bro? <laughs> what are you What are you doing, bro? You're you like you're pushing twenty, man. You're nineteen. You're pushing twenty. You're fucking five foot one, and you and then you're vaping, bro. Relax. Jesus Christ! What the fuck is going on? Honestly, what the fuck is going on? And I think I really think it's natural selection. I really I really do. I genuinely do. The, it, there is a reason why small men of men succeed. I really genuinely think this. Like, wh why is there such a small man uh, that are successful, that will suffer, that will like, genuinely feel pain? Why? Because some men are born to be losers. That's it. That's why. I don't care. I really don't. It's na natural selection. If you know, your friend vapes and your friend, like, fucking uh, does all the general things you could possibly imagine. Smokes weed, bees lazy, doesn't get nutrients, doesn't work out, nothing. Bro, leave him alone. It's not your business. And that's advice coming from me, which I really like. I really desperately tried to get my friends on this shit. I really desperately tried to get my friends on this improvement grind. I really desperately tried to like fucking, you know, push for this shit. But at the end of the day, like, motherfuckers, if, if you are in your worst state and you are constantly surrounded by people that love bullshit and love Instagram's getting degener degeneracy. You cannot expect anything else out of them unless you lead by example. Men don't follow by speeches. Men lead by example. Don't be you. You dumbass. Can I get your friend on self improvement? Did it work? Nope. Motherfucker, man. My room is a mess at the moment. Look at that. It just looks like a mess. No, the rest of it's pretty fucking clean. It's just, that motherfucking. Look at my cat there, bro. Look at him enjoying himself. 
He's he's tucked away sleeping, bro. Shining at the screen. <laughs> oh, that that beef song will fuck fuck me up, bro. I'm gonna punch my camera body. Nah, I don't wanna punch any of my equipment because I break my shit. <sighs> oh yeah, like a quick workout before I sleep. <sighs> yeah. You know, I think about myself in the future and I think about what I can really show you guys in the future. And really, honestly, I'm most, by the way, I'm staring at myself. That's why this angle exists. I'm staring at myself on the screen of OBS. The screen's tilted. I can stare at you if you want. <laughs> Find out, stare at you instead. You know, I, I think about myself and I think about where I'll be in the future and I think about the choices that I make. And how they're progressing in the future. I, I just, I constantly keep thinking about where I'll be, what I'll do. And the weird thing about life is that we can literally craft ourselves into the men that we really want to be. Like, if you really want to be a professional fighter when you were young enough, 16, yeah, you can be a professional fighter. But the next two years, 16 to 18, just grind your ass off, get a few fights. Yeah, you're a professional fighter. Oh, amateur fighter, amateur boxer. By the time you're 20, you know, you can stretch it out, 16 to 20, four years of amateur experience, bro, yeah, you could most definitely be a boxer. This is completely possible. Nothing to deny in that. If you want to be a master carpenter, you grind really hard at carpeting, master designer, A master fisherman. It doesn't matter what it is, really. As long as you dedicate yourself day in, day out, there is really nothing stopping you from achieving that. I think it's the weirdest part of being a guy. It's weird. It's simultaneously weird and like exhilarating. I don't know, you know. The bigger question, like, if you ask yourself, not about, you know, Hustle culture and this and that. The weird question should be: What you? What do you want to be? What is the person that you would like to be? And spend some time fucking thinking about this. Maybe like a month, six months, perhaps, of your time thinking, genuinely like using all brain cell, all every cell of your of your brain, every two brain cells that you fucking have, just use the electrons that fucking collide each other. Fucking like what are you? Don't think about you need focus. You need focus will come naturally when you have a goal and you have conviction towards that goal. And discipline is doing it when you, when you don't feel like it, but you have conviction. And conviction is not motivation. Conviction is something deeper, something essential. And motivation comes and goes, bro. Motivation is effectively not real in that sense. It's like a ghost. It's living on another plane. Discipline is real. Yeah, yeah, discipline. But discipline, like, fucking fades, bro. You can only, like, sweep the shit so many times before you're exhausted. You're a human being. You are not perfect. Even David Goggins has his days off. No, he doesn't, actually. I don't think he does. He has active recovery. But that's a day off to him, in a sense. He might run a mile less, a kilometer less, 10k, I don't know what the fuck. What the fuck, man? She's got me confused. The biggest question is, who do you want to be? Clarify that. Clarify the goals that would be required to get to the position and then work tirelessly until you achieve that position. Like, I remember your first line saying before, like, if you want a fucking mansion on the moon, or apartment on the moon, you want, like, a fucking a house on the moon, bro, you better fucking, you better start working. It's better start developing plans developing projects small small scale building up after a year after two years try to contact everyone you know ask 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 be a beggar of some sort be shameless 
shamelessly promote, shamelessly plug, be relentless, meet Elon Musk on his deathbed, he gives you his fucking final will, continue working until you have no fucking more, no more left in you, check out, I uh, check up on Elon in his cryo, like, <laughs> that's a good, if you truly want that, you're gonna have to fucking get that, bro, nothing's really stopping you, bottom you, like, everyone's an enemy to self improvement anything, is them. You want to be a master musician. What's stopping you from being a master musician? You know, practicing relentlessly for eight hours a day, for 10 hours a day. Yeah. You're not studying a new songs. Like if I really wanted to learn piano and like get the same prowess as I previously had in piano, because I've for sure regressed. I only know like one song now. I used to know like fucking 10 at a time. Oh, my voice gave out there. Sound like fucking Tyson Fury. If I wanted it, I would have to spend time. I would have to try to learn to sight read again because I don't have to fucking sight read anymore. I would have to learn the fingering. Pause. I would have to learn staccato and whatever bullshit other thing. And I would have to learn new songs because I can't keep playing the same song again and again and again and again and suffering again and again and again and listening to the same shit. I have to practice relentlessly. Go to YouTube. Perhaps even get a tutor of the. I I believe I've reached the limit of my own self learning capabilities. Like, there's a system to things, guys. There's a fucking method. Like, you can work hard at anything and get the result that you desire. The question is, who do you want to be and what do you desire? Do you desire money? Why? You want money for why? For freedom. Freedom for what? To meet my grandparents. This is me, by the way. I'm fucking projecting my grandparents. If you, if you have anything else, then put in the comments. I don't know. I'll fucking read all of them. Unfortunately, like I want to meet my, I want to meet my grandparents. I want to see my grandparents. I really miss them. Okay. Save the money. Do it. Call your grandparents. You can't see them. They don't know what's cool. Next time you see them, teach them, and then they know what's cool. If they don't know English, like Asian like me, learn the other language. It's a bit of, but Jimmy's not that straightforward and, you know, my, my parents are, my grandparents are Korean and I don't know a lick of Korean and I, they learn Korean. Okay, if you don't, then culture dies. The culture dies with you. You guys don't remember, like, you guys don't forget, like, you fucking, you are descendants of great people that will come before you. The culture dies with the next generation. Because they get lazy. But, but why are men and, and fluoride and, and men and, and men and like bro if you're fucking like suffering and you're in your like you're doing biohacking or some shit like, people are biohacking but really is it just like it's just traumatizing the body and like getting what you want out of the body like you take a cold shower and you work out biohacking mm, I mean yeah I guess but just taking a cold shower what kind of testosterone is boosted as a result like it isn't a it isn't like fucking rocket science bro <laughs> if, you, if you put it down to a T ask chat GBT to a T how that fucking works then it's rocket science but for the most part it isn't like action correlation result action equals result I think I'm like identifying the desires thing and it's kind of, kind of, it's kind of getting my, my, my fucking, kind of getting my fucking like nerves, like, like the reason why I've been doing all this all along, because I just want to get close to my family. I want to get close to my family and I want to talk to my grandparents more because I really like my grandparents because they're pretty chill down to earth people. I'm pretty open minded and they're, they're old fashioned in certain senses, but like I'm kind of old fashioned myself, so we give a fuck, I agree. But they're pretty old minded in certain ways as well. But like my grandma knows how to use a phone pretty proficiently. My great grandfather before he passed away, rest in peace. Like he used to he used to fucking like try to use a phone and shit. He used to try to call me. The biggest regret I probably have is just not calling him enough. I'm just saying hi so often. Um yeah, that's pretty much it. My grandma when I miss her, just call her, just call her. And I remember like my mom like she calls my grandparents so much to the point where there's nothing really to say anymore. They talk about everything. They're that close. See, everything's on the table. There's nothing even to say anymore. But that's how they've kept that connection 
to so many years. And I think to myself, like, yeah, I'm I'm taking the correction I have between me and my, my mom for advantage. Sometimes you have to force things forward. Like, I remember the time where, like, I messaged, like, a hundred people. Because I'm, like, fucking thousand contacts plus on WhatsApp. On my phone in general. I just messaged a hundred people. Basic question. Just checking out. My favorite people, by the way. And then, like, I got a hundred responses. <laughs> To me, entire day just texting people, texting, 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 it's crazy. And the chat like fucking died out, and you know, I don't, I, I don't really get anything from them anymore. But like, I forced things forward, and I, and I got I, just soft contact. Action equals result, and I thought to myself like, it could be always, like it could always be like this. It really could always be like this. It really could. But you have to push it forward. You have to be the fucking action man. Always. And if it is like. I have to get, I keep thinking about that fucking first man analogy. I have to get 10, 10 girls pregnant today because first man told me to today. Mm. You got the money. Fuck it. Why not? Go in it, cannon. Bro, 10 girls, low body count, look cute. You even have one. Fuck it, bro. 10 babies. Become Genghis Khan. Yeah. Honestly, like, that's pretty respectable in my opinion. Like, Iman Gaji said before, like, on Sneakos podcast. Like it's either I adopt kids and I never have kids, or I go Genghis Khan. Bro, go Genghis Khan every single time. Genghis Khan is still talked about. I'm related to Genghis Khan. Direct descent. Like, fucking a random dude in Japan related to Genghis Khan. Bring him out of the fucking 7-Eleven, eating fucking noodles, squatting down in the corner. Oh shit, you're related to Genghis Khan? Yep, yeah, you are. My brother. Damn, damn him up. My cousin. Motherfucker, man. <laughs> That's how it is. That's legacy, bro. That's legacy. I don't know if that is really here. I don't ramble enough. I'm kind of happy with this way, little video end. See ya, man.